a meeting for Petersburg City Council that did go into closed session, just wrapped up a few minutes ago. They really just amended that resolution that they passed last week. The mayor here in uh, Petersburg telling me that this is a once in a lifetime kind of project that they are united behind. However, there are some people who are concerned with the process and how it played out to this point. Most of the people we chatted with in downtown Petersburg, it's laid back, were like Steve Jackson. Oh, I think it'll be a good thing for here. And Caleb Bradniak. They heard varying levels of information on the process of building a casino in Petersburg, but weren't following it too closely. No, not really, but I think it's a good thing, though. I think it will bring a lot of money up in Petersburg. It seemed like Petersburg been broke for the longest. <laughs> like a half an year open for when I hear about things. I heard about things when it was first announced and approved, and kind of every so often since then. Several others told us off camera they were against bringing a casino to the city. That debate slated for later this year via a voter referendum, but criticism mounted last week when Petersburg City Council selected Cordish as the potential operator of the resort casino. Council passed that resolution following a closed door meeting and canceled the competitive bidding process for the project. State Senator Lashery said was a critic of that move and the Unite Here Labor Union is planning to sue the city, claiming the closed to a process violated open government laws. The messiness goes a little deeper. The labor union reportedly had an agreement with another casino developer in place already and donated $800,000 to Ed's Senate Campaign Committee in 2023 record show. We wanted a destination. Petersburg City Council member W. Howard Myers defended the city's decision in an interview with CBS 6 earlier this week. He says Petersburg has been working since 2022 on a possible casino and the Cordish plan fits their plans better. We've seen all of what was provided, and we have discussed these matters on several occasions since 2022. Um, I can't see a better uh, development than what is being offered with respect to quarters. It's been handled um, in a way that it's created a lot of, um, I think, a lot of conflict and and um, concerns that maybe were greater than what people had before. Bob Rudolph is the co-founder of Clean Sweet Petersburg. She's concerned how things have played out thus far, saying the process has opened up questions into whether the city can truly pull off the project if voters approve it. If this is the way business is going to be handled, it may or may not impact a casino coming here, but do you, don't you think other businesses and investors would look at all this Thing, mess that's going on now and think, is it worth it to come to Petersburg and try to start something here? After this meeting, a couple of reporters spoke with Mayor Samuel Parham. He says they're really not focused on any back and forth that took place up until this point. They're focused on getting this project to Petersburg voters. Ultimately, they'll have the up or down say on this, likely later this fall in November. Reporting in Petersburg, Jake Burns, CBS 6.